choice, you have no voice, a new order nation is taking over everything. Oh god. Level super cool. Practically impossible. Outrageous. What does that even mean? Los Angeles, November 11th, 1996. That was different, I think. Right? Program it in. Fuck. If I got this game as a kid, I would have been so depressed. Now it's still left. God, this is so terrible. Like, we forgot to add the fun, you know? How are you doing today, Courtney? Here, let me give you a shout out. Oh. This game is atrocious. Holy hell. I do not recommend this game. Doing well, how are you? I was just about to ask, how's the game? But I guess that answers that. Yeah. Somebody redeemed this for me on the Super Nintendo like a few months ago. And I have like an hour to kill, so I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll try out the Genesis version. They picked it because it's notoriously crap. Yeah, of course. Thanks for jumping in. What are you doing today? Fair enough. I'm trying to uh, get through all the different ports of games that have been redeemed on my channel. For some reason. Completion's sake, maybe. Oh, I'm trying to quit smoking right now, so I just... Yeah, I'm like, fuck it, I'll just play for like an hour. 
what's short and stupid that I can just get out of the way? Chillin'. How's the rest of your stream last night? I wonder if they just give you, like, infinite continues. Also, I'm curious if you can use the fucking light gun for this. If you're playing on original hardware. Like, if you could use the Sega Menacer, it would probably make this a little bit more interesting. But still, this is pretty boring, even for a light gun game. Hey, Retro, how's it going, dude? They did when I played this game, Infinite Lives. Retro Perspective. How's your day today, dude? How smart. It was good. Made it to Act 2. Reset all my alert stuff today, so hopefully it works better next stream and I'm actually alerted to the raid. Okay. You're having a malfunction thing in the Bob? Hey, Nuclear Doctrine, how's it going? Death to Tyrants shoots strippers. Nuclear doctrine. There we go. Oh my god. What the Stop this nonsense now. What? What the hell did Joey Ramon just say to me? I'm getting ready for my stream. I haven't been awake long. Pretty good so far, how are you? I'm okay, I guess. I'm trying to quit smoking again. <laughs> Fucking rough. Can't believe how addictive cigarettes are. It's like I forgot. How fucking... Yeah, it really gets a hold on you. It sucks. It's like all I fucking think about. Yeah, the audio wasn't going through, so I couldn't hear the alert, so it took a few to see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I think I was... I think it was like 15 seconds in or whatever. Like, you looked over pretty quickly. This game isn't a good start to quitting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured, fuck it, I'll just do like a one-hour stream real quick. If you're watching this, then they've taken over. If you're watching this, then something, something. It's up to you now. Find our car and stop the new order. It's up to me to stop the new order. Remember. I figured I'd just piss around with this for like an hour or whatever. Hey, Joe Fox, how are you doing today? Music is a weapon. Yeah, if it's Aerosmith. What are you streaming later, Retro? Commandeer the New Order Chopper and find Aerosmith's car. Man, I didn't realize how many fucking versions of this game there were. I owned it on Saturn, but never popped it in. And there's also a PlayStation 1 version. And there's the arcade version. God damn it. Today we beat... Oh shit, dude. You... Oh, you're going to beat Final Fantasy V, eh? If we have time, there'll be more Shining Force Swords of... Sword of Haja. Are you going to do all the Game Gear Shining Force games? Or are you just going to... Do Sword of Haja? I'm 
definitely doing Final Conflict as well. Sweet. Did you ever think of, like, just doing the Sega CD version? are a lot fucking tinier on the Genesis version, eh? Compared to the Super Nintendo one. Hey, Dewey Stein, how's it going today? You know this game's impossible to 1cc on arcade. I did not, but that doesn't fucking surprise me whatsoever. How is the arcade version? Is it just as shitty as uh, Super Nintendo and Genesis, or does it... You know, is it a lot more fun, or what? If I ever play the first Shining Force Gaiden, it will be with the Sega CD. The game doesn't have a translated ROM. That's so weird to me that something as big as Shining Force doesn't have a fucking ROM, like, a uh, translation yet. Like, they did Shining Force 3, Scenario 2 and 3 from Japan on the Saturn. only played the arcade one. Oh, okay. Were you trying to 1cc it at one point, or is it just, like, notorious for it being impossible? It's unfair eat your quarter bullshit, though. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. I've already died, like, ten times. I just keep dying. I don't know what the fuck's killing me. Like, are these guys shooting at me or something? spent eight years fighting with a weird form of data compression to translate Final Conflict, but dismissed the first one. Oh, that makes sense. They're pretty big games with a lot of text, right? Hmm. Surrender now. Surrender now. Gaiden was already available through the Sega CD collection. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, they updated the fucking music and the sprites and shit too, though, so it's kind of like a remake, in my opinion. I prefer the way that it looked and sounded on the game you're watching you play. It was so much... so much better, in my opinion. Die, you fuck. Die, you fucking putz. He's barely doing more damage. There we go. But that can't be the reason they didn't translate it. I don't know what the data compression issue was exactly, but it caused a lot of hassle for the translation. Man, I wish I was fluent in Japanese. I would totally try and get picked up by a company to do translations and shit. That'd be fun. Oh, is this Aerosmith's car? Aerosmith's car. Cool. Still connected. Hey, video fam. How you doing today? It's 
not that cool. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Looks like you made it. Where you go from here is up to you. All right. Oh, that's right. Options. Um. Um. Fucking Middle East. Stop the new order bus. Oh, the bus. Fuck, man. It's Aerosmith, exactly. The Middle East, they're going to pick up a busload of kids for reprogramming. Now, what in the hell are you talking about, Bobby? They have trashy fucking stripper sluts as slaves. Makes sense. Thanks, Sega fan. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Fuck. Man, I checked out that fucking Adventure Island 4 you were talking about that you redeemed last night. God, that's weird. I wonder why... Oop. Don't kill the hookers. Or strippers. I wonder why the fuck they didn't bring that over to North America. Walk this way to the power off button. Exactly. This is fucking atrocious. There's not really any fun to be had, you know? Like, at least I get to talk to you guys. Fuck this. Dude, this bus drove me fucking mental on the Super Nintendo version. Remember that? I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Dude, this one's got a meter, though. Okay, first of all. Fuck. Man, this bus is way more fucking janky on the Genesis. Christ. Musicians in the Middle East makes me think about 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, so bad it's good type of game for the 360 and PS3. Has that 2000s era of cheese. Oh, I feel like my cousin Eric was fucking obsessed with that game back in the day. I don't think I've played it myself. I can't remember what it looks like. I'm assuming it's a Grand Theft Auto clone. What else am I supposed to be breaking? God damn it. Speed up, bitch. We gotta take down the motor, for sure, right? Probably? Come on, blow up. Something. No? Oh! Dude, did I just blow up the fucking bus? Sweet. First try. hard for a moment there these guys are maggots they're putting chemicals in all our food is my stream fucking up for you guys the Amazon evergreen chemicals hiding something you've got to find out what Really, I gotta kill the fucking local natives? Not Grand Theft Auto like at all. Oh, it is not open world. Linear third person shooter. Something about rappers fighting Middle East terrorists and taking the plot 100% seriously while having cheesy dialogue is so great. Ugh. How's the game though? Is it actually like good or is it just like for a laugh?
Also, did my screen fuck up for you, or was it just on my end? It's just like struggling to load randomly. I'm hoping my phone's just a piece of crap. but I've not played it myself. I did, however, play the first 50 Cent game on PS2. Maybe that's what I was thinking about. And that was good, so if that game is one to go by, the sequel should be good. 50 Cent video games. Whatever happened to that guy, anyway? He... I feel like I haven't heard anybody bring up 50 Cent in a long time. How are you supposed to not take damage right here, you know? Give up. Play it again. Give up. Yeah, don't worry, wouldn't want this hand. Hey, Firm Tusk, how's it going, dude? Firm Tusk. You excited for more fucking Revolution X or what? I feel like most rappers from the 90s and 2000s are basically in semi-retirement and are basically special guests if they're in a song at all. Makes sense. It's gotta be weird trying to act gangsta as fuck in your 50s and 60s, right? I think it's kind of cringy to begin with, but when you're an old man, fuck. No humans beyond this point. It was great. Coffee just hit me, so time to take a shit. Man, I haven't had coffee in like three days. I'm trying to quit smoking again today. The life sucks. Coffee doesn't help with smoking. Exactly. They go kind of hand in hand, right? Oh, this game would be so much better if it was on Sega CD. That said, the Genesis music here isn't bad, but it could be better. Well, because I'm an idiot and I'm going to go through all my fucking... All the different ports of shit I've already beaten on my channel. At some point, I'm going to have to do the PlayStation 1, the Sega Saturn, and the fucking arcade version of this. So that'll suck. I actually feel so bad for you right now, then. I quit for good on Monday, and it's absolutely killing me. I ended up grabbing a gym membership and rowing whenever I've craved this week. Now I feel like shit, and I'm sore as fuck, LMAO. God. On Monday. Fuck, dude. Day five. That's awesome. Good for you, man. Jesus. 
Day five, man. You're almost out of it. Gime? What the hell is a gime? I wish I was on day five. I didn't smoke at all on um, Thursday. And then yesterday I had like 10 or so. And now today sucks. Holy shit, it's Mr. Burns. They're turning fly honeys into Mr. Burns. I don't, I'm not sure I really want to stop them. Let's give a shout out to Danzy Man. I played the Adventures of Batman and Robin for Sega Genesis today in honor of Kevin Conroy, who voiced Batman in the 90s cartoon. He died recently. Yeah, I keep hearing that. It's all over my fucking Facebook feed. How is the Adventures of Batman and Robin? I heard one of them's really good and one of them sucks. Why does this thing keep loading? Are you guys having issues on your end or is my phone just being a piece of shit? You know, I think this game looks better than the Super Nintendo one. No issues for me, also gaming, so here but not? Okay. Every time I look at my phone, it's trying to load, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm hoping it's not fucking up for you guys, too. You haven't had any issues yet. Okay, my phone's just being fucking goofy, then. I hope. Genesis game is incredibly hard, and I need a game. I need Game Genie codes to beat it. No more mind control. Fuck yeah. But damn, is that game an experience? The music's amazing, and the graphics are fantastic, especially for Genesis. Yeah, I've heard nothing but praise for the fucking music and the visuals. I've just always heard that it's a crappy game, but I mean, if it's just difficult, that doesn't make it bad, right? Stop loading your fucking butts. Jesus. Now Twitch itself isn't even loading. Maybe it's a mobile issue? <coughs> Pacific Rim. Destroy Chemitech. It's a front for the new order. What? Blow up Dairy Queen, he says. Way ahead of you. Yeah, I can't even log on to Twitch on my phone right now. What the fuck, man? I don't want to do this fucking stream all over again right now. Not today. God, don't I just love shitty synth versions of Aerosmith? Yeah, if you didn't think Aerosmith sucked enough. shitty versions of the Power Rangers. I think we're getting kind of close to beating the game, actually, though. Right? Uh, we need to go left. Because fuck it. Oh, yeah, open the doorways. That's right. I don't beat this game in under an hour. I want to at least stream for an hour, you know? 
Oh, let's go left again. I can't tell if this is a different fucking area or not. I hope it is. I don't know. Everything kind of looks the same right now. Maybe I'm supposed to go right. Don't give up. Please don't give up. Let's play another version of it. Now I'll save that crap for a later date. I'm gonna have to find the PlayStation ROM and the fucking Sega Saturn ROM. You don't have to stop streaming just because you beat a game. You can play another game. Yeah. I'm trying to quit smoking today, so I, I wasn't even going to fucking stream, but I was like, screw it. Let's just play something for like an hour really quick. What should I play? I was like, this game's pretty short. Pretty short and simple. Might as well do something today, right? Joe, are you making an appearance this week? That's not... That's not a Joe who comes over every week. That's a different Joe. But yeah, he'll probably come over. He does every week. Pretty much. Game over. Dude, this game has a fucking game over? Seriously? Ugh. Oh, how the fuck did I get a game over? I'll say this, this game has a good variety of Game Genie codes, so it's like choosing your own difficulty. As opposed to the game's hard difficulty and Game Genie easy difficulty being the only options. Too many Joes and Chris's? Fuck yeah, there are, man. It's like everybody's named Joe and Chris. Aw, oh, thanks for shouting out Larry. Hello, Sega fan. No shout out, please. No shout out. So Ferb shouts you out right away. I'm okay, I guess. I'm trying to quit fucking smoking. And I'm playing this garbage game for some reason. Which is supposed to have infinite lives, but I just got a game over somehow. For some reason, my stupid fucking Twitch isn't working on mobile. How you doing today? Most games, Game Genie will turn two hard games to two easy games. Batman and Robin is good in between. Oh, well, don't worry, Larry. We know you actually want the shout-out. The shootout. Quitting's easy. Don't have to do anything special for that. I wish quitting was easy. Look at that group of transvestites. I don't understand. Why did I fucking die? Pretty good day, thanks. What are you doing today? <sighs> Fuck, I was so close to beating the game, too. And then I got a fucking game over randomly. Like, maybe you only have, like, 50 or 100 lives or something, maybe? Hey, Jarrett 1991 how are you doing today? That stings, getting so close and the game goes nope. I know. Especially for such a piece of shit game, too. Packed up a game for a friend to play, a special modded version. Oh, which game? Doing alright, you? I'm trying to quit smoking, so I'm losing my fucking mind a little bit. <laughs> you died because Steven Tyler had to go run off and convince a 15-year-old girl's mom to let him adopt her so he could get her pregnant and then leave. Is that something that happened? Did some home cleaning, exciting stuff. Oh. 
Sending home fucking feels good. I always feel a lot better once I fucking tidy up. That's a real Steven Tyler fact. Jesus. Makes sense. Unavoidable. Happens to the best of us. I put a Sega Genesis version of DuckTales Moon theme on your Discord in the music recommendation section. A Sega Genesis version? Trippy. Monkey Island 1 with voices at him. Oh, Super Monkey Island, yeah. I had that on the Sega CD for like a decade and I just never got around to it, but I've heard nothing but good shit. Are we talking about Secret of Monkey Island? Appreciate the shout out. Yeah, of course, thanks for jumping in. Holy mackerel. Also collected some sound effects from streamers to add a sound bites for the channel. Fuck yeah. That's a good feeling. Adding crap to your page. I want to get more sound bites really bad, but... The fucking... The add-on thing that I use only allows, like, five sound bites, which sucks. I need to find, like, a third-party one that lets me add a bunch of shit or something. Papa Owl's in the building. How's Colton doing today? Papa AI. Secret of Monkey Island, yeah, might might have been a Sega CD version too, not sure. I've heard nothing but really good things about it. I know a couple people have been going nuts over the fucking new one that just came out. More to hear Adventure Island 4 was going to release in the West, but this was the time Super Nintendo was out. Yeah. And they thought it wouldn't sell here. Is it a really good game, or what? Yeah, it's gotta be better than this fucking thing. We'll have to ask a friend about that sound software. Yeah, I'd like to have a lot more sound bites. bloody ear or something on the table. Like, yeah, you want to be fucking cool and hang out backstage with Aerosmith? You gotta cut off your fucking ear. I think it's a good game, but like many Metroidvania games, it can be easy to get lost. I never beat it because of that. I wonder how big the map's gonna be then. Sounds like Super Adventure Island too. The only Adventure Island games that I've played are on Game Boy and Turbo Graphics. I don't even think I've played any of the NES ones, or Super Nintendo ones. You've had a rough 12 hours. Wow, what's going on? Shouts out, Jarrett. They have a cool crotch there, playing Retro. I also plan on making Retro Perspective play Monkey Island 1 if he doesn't curse it. Might come here to and redeem it at some point. You really like the game, eh? Fucking Stimpy emote. Love Ren and Stimpy. I'll PM you on Messenger. Alright, cool. I'm probably only gonna play this for like another 20 minutes or so, or 30, until I beat it, or get another game over. I'm trying to quit smoking. And what I usually do is I just fucking lay on the couch and binge watch shit to try and keep my mind occupied, but. It's like, fuck, I wanna do a stream today, you know? Stop this nonsense now! Meow, meow, meow. I like it. A bit of good old days factor in for it. Oh, okay. It's got nostalgia factor to you. Well, I've heard nothing but good shit, so... I'm sure it wouldn't be the worst thing to play. I've played worse. I'm playing worse. Fuck.
if one likes the humor, it's a great game. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. You got this, Sega? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what fucking killed me. Like, I don't know what got me a game over. I was told that this has infinite fucking continues, but I died, so it can't have infinite continues. Yeah, Super Adventure Island 2 on Super Nintendo is also a Metroidvania. What? It released in North America, so I was shocked you were shocked at Metroidvania Adventure Island. Yeah, dude, I don't really know the series too well outside of the Game Boy and the Turbo Graphics. And of course I played a bajillion Wonder Boys, but they kind of branched off from each other quite a bit. I was supposed to free those hostages? What the fuck? I didn't know that. I tried shooting at the stripper cages, but nothing happened. Commodore, the New Order Chopper, and find fucking something. Fun fact, Mistress Helga is played by Carrie Hoskin, who played Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat 3. Okay. Yeah, there were a lot of big actors that fucking made games back in that era. Early to mid-90s. Interesting time, for sure. Fuck off. God damn it. this helicopter. Super Adventure Island 1 on Super Nintendo is well liked, but not by me. A little hard game. No run button. Great graphics and music, though. Music was by the guy who did Streets of Rage music. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get to them all eventually. I've always enjoyed that series. Good old arcade light gun bullshit. Throw everything at the screen. Yeah, pretty fucking close. I feel like this game would be a lot more fun if you were using the fucking Genesis light gun and you had a buddy doing it with you, you know? It's like, as this is, it's not a very exciting game. Just confirmed that there's a Sega CD version for Secret of Monkey Island. Oh, yeah, man. I was going for a full set. That's why I uh, said that I had it on Sega CD. I was like 20 away from completing a North American set. So fucking close. Very, very close. Fuck me, damn it. It'd be cool to see that version for me and you get the Sega Factor too. Yeah, man, of course. If you want to redeem that at some point, go for it, for sure. It'd be nice to see what all the hubbub's about. Any light gun game that is only D-pad, oh sweet lord. Yeah, fuck. That's this. The music's meh. The visuals, I, I like the visuals in this, that's about it. The gameplay's so fucking repetitive and dull, though, you know? But, I mean, what else can you really do with a game like this, right? The funny thing is they ported the Terminator 2 arcade game to Game Boy and Game Gear. The only Terminator title that I've ever played was on the Sega CD. Everybody said it was like a fucking 10 out of 10 amazing game, but it's kind of like a... It was alright. It wasn't a bad game, but... Like, I was expecting fucking godliness, but... It was alright. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't horrible. It's tolerable with House of the Dead 2 on Sega Dreamcast, but damn, is that game fun with a light gun and CRT TV? Yeah, dude, I love House of the Dead. 
I had the first one on Saturn, and it, it, was, it wasn't as good for some reason. I don't know why. The House of the Dead 2 on Dreamcast was fucking addictive. I love that game. What's the blast and even on keyboard? Yeah, typing of the dead's so much fun. I love that game. Terminator 2 arcade game is also impossible to 1cc. So there's... Hmm. Are there a lot of games that are just impossible to 1cc no matter how good you are? Oh, do I fuck up these to get him to stop fucking moving? House of the Bread. Finally, Jesus Christ, dude. There's some, nobody plays them. I'm pretty sure people have tried to TAS the T2 arcade game and couldn't. You're really big into arcade games, hey? You know so much about them. Hey, Crack Blazing Warlock, how's it going today? I love fucking saying that name out loud. It's so good. James Cameron climbs out of the cabinet and hits you in the balls if you get too close to a 1cc. So you're guaranteed an erection no matter what. Looks like you made it. Where you go from here is up to you. Fuck it. Amazon jungle again. These guys and then Arnold body slams you for extra measure. Food. What? These aren't the droids you're looking for. Uh, the Amazon. Evergreen chemical is hiding something. You've got to find out what. Do I? Is it really important? Only Aerosmith can save me now. arcade games come with the infinite continue? I feel like they do. I've heard there's a few where when you get to the fucking final level, it'll start you at the final level instead of just wherever the fuck you die. No arcade owners fucking hate money. Castle is bullshit. Brady 3, I think, is limited. Yeah, I've heard nothing but great things about Haunted Castle. might even get more money if the game is so good that you accept limited continues per playthrough. Yeah. God damn it. This is the fucking stage that I died on, right? I'm wondering if you just take too many wrong paths you just fucking die for some reason. Or if there's legitimately, like, it's not unlimited continues. Something fishy happened.
Man, I wish hordes of buff shirtless dudes with guns were trying to kill me. Yeah, that's a good fetish to have. Should probably move to, like, Somalia or something. Seems like an average day in fucking Somalia. Or Uzbekistan. Game in the void. in this is fucking atrocious too. Which is goofy because that's the only thing in the game that you had to get right. today. Yeah. I'm trying to quit smoking. I'm trying to get my mind off of it. I'm like, you know what I should do? Play one of the shittiest games ever. How you doing today, Dragomir? in bed, gonna shower. You don't need to shower. Bring the shower to your bed. with the inside of their pillow. I think it's the only answer. It's nice to see some obscure games on your stream. Your suffering has meaning. No more mind control. By the new order. I'm glad you like the crap I play. Somebody redeemed this on the Super Nintendo a few months ago. And I figured, fuck it. I'll kill an hour or so. Do the Genesis version. Just cause. What is this bullshit? You don't remember this? I never shower. I want the normies to smell me before they see me. Showering's for squares. The new order bus. What? Some dude in the desert screaming about a new order bus? The Middle East. They're going to pick up a busload of kids for reprogramming. Don't let them destroy the bus. Don't let them destroy the bus. What? Did I read that wrong? The Middle East. 
shield up. Speaking of games based off bands, there's a Journey arcade game. How is it, Jarrett? Any good? Steam bus. Finally, a worthy cause. Fucking rollerbladers. Get the fuck out of the way. For a laugh and to kill a few minutes, it's alright. Why not? They should make a Cannibal Corpse game, that would be amusing. Or an anal cunt fucking game, could you imagine? out of here. What else am I supposed to be fucking smashing? A Gwar beat him up? <laughs> yeah. A Gwar was in the Beavis and Butthead games that I beat last month. Am I doing this right? should have fucking exploded by now. Oh, that thing? In between the windows? Jesus, stop fucking going back and forth, you dick. Did I do it? Hell yeah. I finally had a chance to rewatch the live-action Ghost in the Shell movie last night. I'll put some thoughts in the Discord. Alright, man, that sounds good. School's out forever. in the shell. I know nothing about that series. And you cunt now doing the entire Mortal Kombat soundtrack. It'd be fucking fitting as sh Dude. That would have been sweet. That would have been fantastic. Holy crap, it's already been an hour, eh? Alright, Pacific Rim. Nah, this is the stage where I got all fucked up. A Primus point and click. That'd be nice and goofy, hey? Pacific Rim Mass Production Mass Destruction. It would be good. This game looks like jank, but entertaining jank. This is fucking atrocious. It's supposed to be unlimited lives, but I got a fucking game over. Otherwise, this game would have been beaten by now. Look at these fucking LARPers. LARP away, you can LARP away, LARP all day, if you want to. Fuck off. God damn it. Thank goodness it's not Shaq Fu. Yeah, I think I'm done with Shaq Fu. Uh, let's go right. Maybe I won't get a game over that way. Yeah, for Shaq Fu, fuck, dude. I did the Game Gear, the Game Boy, the Genesis, and the Super Nintendo version. We are done with that fucking beautiful game. I love the Ghost in the Shell anime. I've heard that it's good. This is false advertising. Whoa. This is false advertising right there. Unlimited lives my ass. Exactly. Well, to be fair, the person who fucking redeemed this game jumped in and said that it's got unlimited lives, so... Maybe I just fucked shit up. I don't know. That was hard to watch. 
And here we have the Daft Punk reject. Yeah, pretty much, hey? Yeah, let's give you a shout-out. J. Davies. That's funny. You've jumped into a Shaq Fu and a Revolution X stream. Yeah, poor fuck. I'm alright, man. I'm trying to quit smoking today, so... I'm losing my fucking mind a little bit. Hmm... Other than that, I'm alright, though. How about you? There's hardly anything to watch. Every playthrough is ten minutes. Oh, the Shaq Fu? Yeah. No, I made it... I made sure to beat it multiple times. Just to draw it out for like an hour. You did the Game Boy and Game Gear, Mad Lad? Yeah, I did Game Boy, Game Gear, Genesis, and Super Nintendo. For Redeems, I try and do all the ports that I can. I'm trying to do that now for some stupid fucking reason. What are the rules on arcade game requests? One game I'm thinking of in particular, the only English port that exists is on a Namco collection. <sighs> Fuck. I don't know how to answer that. Do you positively 100% need to know? Like, is there a lot of dialogue in it or what? There's an arcade version of this game. Yeah, I know. I have to do the arcade version of this and the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn at some point. Fuck. Maybe that's where the unlimited lives idea comes from. That makes sense. I want to see some naked dudes. This one pretty good if you like sci-fi cyberpunk. Yeah, it could be good. Need to save up then. Yeah. I always look forward to see what you crazy people fucking make me play. Mm. It's only on a Namco collection for what console? Trying to get over a cold, but overall okay, thanks. And a lot of people are really fucking sick right now, eh? There's some shit going around right now. Okay, we're going in five, I guess. I didn't even mean to do that. There's a PlayStation port? Yeah, dude. Revolution X? Yeah, there's arcade, PlayStation, Super Nintendo, Sega Saturn, Sega Genesis. Because, you know, we wouldn't want anybody to miss out on this fucking gem. When I eventually play my cyberpunk copy, I'll just make Motoko to make it more interesting. She and the Mexican guy have a dynamic, like, gits anyway. You're gonna do Cyberpunk 2077 or whatever the fuck, Dragomir? Oh no, it's not like required. I just feel bad giving you something totally Japanese when I can give you the version of a PS1 collection with English. No, I don't care, man. I've done plenty of Japanese shoot 'em ups and stuff like that. Like, if it's a platformer or a fighter or a run and gun or a shoot 'em up or a beat 'em up or a fucking rhythm game, like. It doesn't matter, right? Like, as long as it's not an RPG, I don't care if it's not Japanese, right? Look at these little bastards. Damn, we need a Game Boy port of Revolution X? Yeah, there's no way they'd be able to do it. Watch, it just wind up being, like, the best version. Okay, we're going in 9, I guess. This game's fun to watch, seriously? Not sure I'd want to play it, though. Now, the only enjoyment that I'm getting is fucking talking to you guys. This game's... Ugh. If I was just sitting here doing this by myself, I'd be bored out of my fucking mind. It's kind of tedious. And repetitive. Very fucking repetitive. And who am I killing? Speaking of that, there's a Super Nintendo and Game Boy port of Total Carnage. I've actually never played Total Carnage before. Yeah, let's just go in 11, I guess. Why not? I have no fucking clue where I'm going. A lot of variety and funny enemy animations. Hilarious in my book. Good. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I don't mind the visuals. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm not really a big fan of Aerosmith at all. So I don't even recognize any of this fucking music anyway. It doesn't sound that good, though. Been lurking for 20 minutes, I agree. This looks boring as fuck. Exactly, fat boy. It's pretty boring. How you doing today, man? It definitely has an arcade vibe to it. Only reason to play is set the high score. Yeah, I agree. This is one of those games that they shouldn't have fucking taken out of the uh, arcades. Oh. 
We're at something new. We're further than our first fucking playthrough. What the fuck? Goddamn LARPers. God damn it. There we go. God, I love that machine gun. Best subject on me. A day in the life at an American school. Oh, there goes my fucking machine gun. God damn it. Ah, fly honeys. Steam is the equivalent to melatonin. Oh, I'm good. Nothing special going on. Oh, whoa. Is that a jerk? What? Game over. Now, what in the fuck? Chat just wants to see more Shaq Fu. What the fuck was up with that? I was shooting at the guy, nothing happened. He pulled out a gun and shot me once, and I got a game over. Ugh. What a pain in the ass. Yeah, more Shaq Fu. Well, at least we got to see a little bit more of the game. Son of a bitch. Well, is that some bullshit, right? Mistress Helga, a fitting boss, because this game fucks you in the ass. That's so rough. Revolution X. Helga. This was a 1995 fucking port, too. Oh my god. That guy has the game over gun? Yeah, pretty much. You show up, he's like, ah, fuck you. End of the game. So, like, you won because there isn't an actual end? I don't think so. No, dude. On the Super Nintendo version that I played like a month or two ago, there's this crazy boss. Just this huge fat motherfucker in a floating chair covered in machine guns. And I had to take down like each limb individually. It was fucking chaotic and it made no sense. He's a cool last boss. A claim and it makes sense. A claim usually sucks eggs. This game stinks. Yeah, it does. But needed to waste a fucking hour, so. That's that. At least I can cross this one off the fucking list. For, yeah, I don't know, man. The Super Nintendo one, I managed to get to the fucking end. Like, pretty much no problem. We gotta get you to play Turok 1, 2, 3. Actually, I just got something in the mail, man. collection Turok is back and no dinosaur safe it's a Turok 1 and Turok 2 for the PS4 I bought it like a hundred years ago but uh the guy that I used to get all my games from all the limited companies and shit like that because I quit buying games like six months ago because like what the fuck I'm never gonna get to all that so, I just let him stockpile games for, like, four months, and then he finally shipped me a box with, like, 30-something games in it, and Turok was one of them. I was like, oh, yeah, fuck, I forgot that I even bought that. Remember, music is the weapon. It is, man. If it's Aerosmith, it can fucking hurt you for sure. Super Nintendo's better than Sega, for sure, man. I like the way that this version plays and looks a lot better than the Super Nintendo one. But the Super Nintendo one, you can actually make it all the fucking way through. Without having to, like, get good, right? Ooh. We should play those. Those games are awesome. I mean, I've never actually played a Turok game. Yeah, I got a ton of really cool shit in the fucking mail the other day. Just a huge stack of shit just sitting on my kitchen table. I got a whole ton of cotton games. I don't know if you guys are into cute em ups but that was cool. I vaguely remember Turok on the N64, and I think I hated it. I thought it was just, like, a... What I think it is, 
is the fucking first person shooter where you take down dinosaurs in a jungle and shit. I could be wrong. Maybe it's a third person? I have no idea. I thought it was a cool idea. I love dinosaurs. And I don't mind early first person shooters, you know? Like Hexen, Doom, Quake, Duke Nukem, Power Slave. Oh, it's a first person. Okay, cool. Truck 1's a little confusing at first because it's kind of maze like. Uh, holy shit, the plot of this game is to get an Aerosmith concert while, while random dudes are attacking. I know, it's beautiful, right? They should have made a movie about it. Never played Turok, but the name has a lot of appeal. Turok. I love a good cute em up. You ever play Parodius? Yeah, I played Parodius. I don't know the series very well. I'd like to know more about Parodius, but. It's got a 2.3 rating on Channel 3. Let's play Turok. Warg. Let's find somebody to raid. I'm gonna go fucking. relax. Try and get cigarettes off my mind. I'm gonna have my lunch and watch a bunch of Star Trek or something. And just be bitchy. Turok Seeds of Evil is awesome as fuck. Seeds of Evil? Oh, okay, so that's the second one. Pocky and Rocky. Man, I love Pocky and Rocky. That game's so good. Stay strong, dude. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Fuck, it's so hard. Ugh, I smoke, like, two packs a day, right? So, I mean, like, every two hours goes by. That's, like, fucking seven smokes I haven't had. You know what I mean? You got this, Sega. You can do it, Walt. I'm trying. I, I have to. I have to fucking do it. I have to. Great cool guy, Munt. This guy's hilarious. Oh, well, that's fucking Revolution X on the Sega Genesis. Definitely better than the Super... Well, fuck. I don't know, man. The Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis both have their ups and downs. I don't know which one I'd rather play. If I wanted to see the whole game, I'd do Super Nintendo. But I think that the Genesis one plays better. And looks better, for some reason. Yeah. But thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. You guys made this a lot of fun. You made something fucking atrocious a lot of fun to put up with, so I appreciate it. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you have a good day. Revolution X. <laughs>